What's happening guys, Mitchell Hooper, 2023 World's Strongest Man. I figured I would give you a bit of a kitchen tour and let you know what goes into the making of World's Strongest Man. Fridge is probably the best place to start. So I eat pretty simply. There's nothing all that exciting and apologies to my fiance Ashley, who's probably horrified. I don't think I've seen our fridge look so messy. Um, but I mean, I think constant thread is it's just so normal. Uh, like we had some chicken pot pie last night. I'll probably leave that out, have that for a bit of lunch. Um, I've got some pre-made meals uh, from uh, the gym that I go to. So I'll have a couple of these for lunch every day. I've got my milk for uh, protein shakes. I've got syrup and uh, light whipped cream. I've been on quite a waffle kick lately. I'm very happy about that. Um, otherwise, just sort of your normal stuff, vegetables, um, spreads, sauces, whatever. In our house, we're obsessed with all things to do with diet pop. The people who work for me know I drink way more Diet Coke than I do water. Uh, just why would, you, why would you have something worse when you can have something better? In the freezer, Oreo ice creams. We just picked those up. I'm very happy about that. Um, but we've got sort of what you would expect down there. We've got all of the meat frozen up. We've got a whole bunch of steaks, roasts, some vegetables, um, all sort of the basics that you'd have in a house, probably just a bit more. I mean, all in all, we have a whole heap of roasts and steaks. So under normal non-traveling circumstances, this would probably be a good two weeks worth. Um, I'd probably have one to two of these a day for dinner, probably two a day for dinner. Um, and then we'd have a roast once in a while. Um, but as you can see, we've had one sneak to the bottom, freezer burn, how good. Um, but I way, way prefer uh, red meat. And it looks like we might be, ah, we've got a whole bunch of fish in the bottom as well. Um, but way prefer red meat and fish over chicken. That's not a dietary thing. That's just like, I find chicken a bit dry and a bit boring, to be honest. All right, so that's the freezer. My favorite food, any vanilla-based ice cream. If you're ever at a show or you ever see me and you come to me with any sort of vanilla ice cream, you will be my new best friend. I think everyone who's lactose intolerant, I got their enzymes and I just crave as much lactose as possible. We know the questions are going to come about calories. <laughs> it's, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I would guess 5,500, 320 grams of protein and everything else falls where it may. Uh, I, I don't really care all that much. I'll just say, okay, what's the scale say? How do I look? Am I, yeah, I, I track my protein and that's basically it. So it's really not as interesting as you guys would hope it to be, um, but that's the truth. And I think that's the truth for more people than you would expect as much as they want you to believe that they're doing something absolutely insane. Uh, but in the way of tracking protein, we've got my protein drawer. Um, so of course, I've got my supplements. Pre-workouts are mandatory for me. Creatine is a 100% must. I have my diesel protein, which I love. This is the second best chocolate mint. The best is Canadian maple by a country mom, obsessed with it. Uh, and we've got mass gainer. But to be honest, that is an extremely rare occurrence for me to bother with mass gainer. Usually it's just a protein shake and some milk. And I mean, right now in the fridge, we've got protein balls. This was full up about a day ago and shame. How often would you say that you weigh yourself? Uh, maybe once a week, but pretty casually. More like, huh, you're looking a bit fat, or you're not that strong, or you look a bit small. 
stop me and then go, okay, is that true? Like I feel right now, I feel like I'm looking really strong, but I step on the scale and I'm like 319. I'm like three or four pounds heavier than my lightest. Okay, it's just like, I've just got it into my head. And then, hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. As you know, 20% of the proceeds from these shirts and these shorts from LHPK go back to locally on strength gyms. And we partnered with Rain to auction off this fridge. It's gonna add 100% of the proceeds from the fridge to the pool and be able to give back to the local strength community. If you're interested in the apparel or you're interested in getting your gym, your home, the Rain fridge, check the links in the description. Thanks a lot guys. Let's have be kind and enjoy the video. This is the coolest little thing, like a little nook so that our counters can stay nice and clean. Uh, but this is the MVP of our household, my coffee maker. And we got all the beans and cups and whatnot down there. But coffee for me, caffeine, when I'm running hot and I'm busy, um, probably about a gram of caffeine a day. I think what we did at one time was about 1,500 grams of, or uh, 1,500 milligrams. When you're dry scooping altered state with the rain. Yeah, the perfect rain is what I like to call that. Dry scoop and a rain, love it. Um, here's all of our Diet Coke which is an MVP. We've got regular Coke just for other people, but we like to hammer it. We've got um, a whole bunch of uh, Gatorade Zero, so I will have probably two or three of those a day. Um, then we've got nothing of interest in here, just little snacks and whatnot. Um, Ash sometimes has her uh, pre-made proteins. Ah, oh, love sweets. Absolutely. This is another one. If you bring me candy at shows, again, candy and ice cream, like I'm a 10 year old, so good. Um, then we've got just like really basic crackers. Um, nothing really, but love crackers and hummus, which you saw in the fridge. I could eat that all day. And then my two favorite cereals are here. Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Absolutely amazing. Terrible for you, but absolutely amazing. And I mean, that's the long and short of it. Let's have a peek at the rain fridge. And that sort of rounds out everything that goes into my body. <clears throat> so obviously a must, the rain. I'll just take that on the way out when I'm going to train and all stocked up. We got some American stuff. We got some Canadian stuff. Fun fact about rain in Canada, it's 180 milligrams of caffeine. And in America, it's 300 milligrams of caffeine. About one and a half X in America over Canada. Um, but that's it. I mean, you put that all together and in the morning I have a shake and then something else, whether it's protein balls or waffles or whatever that I've got. There's a couple of meals for lunch. I've got a pretty normal dinner. I have a protein shake at night. And that's basically my day. Uh, so that's the world's strongest man's kitchen. World's strongest man. I suppose this is a what I eat in a day, sort of. I'm sort just not putting it in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> What's your um, favorite ring? This guy. Yeah. Really good. I actually, as a close second, I like that one, the, uh, what's it called? I don't know what they're called. Razzleberry. This one would be third. And then I can't really get around this one at the moment. The thermogenic one. Um, but they're all good. It's like zero calorie liquid candy that gives you energy. <laughs> it's the easiest sell of all time. Um, but that's that. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. And we will catch you on the next one. Let me know. Put in the comments. Do you want to see a full day of eating? Will Strongest Man full day of eating? Not going to happen. <laughs>